Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Shop My Stash video for you. If you guys like these videos, I'll leave my playlist linked down below, but this is going to be my Shop My Stash for May. I usually post my Shop My Stash kind of in the middle of the month, which is kind of random, but last month I had switched up how I was doing things. So this is like my makeup area where I get ready in the morning. And rather than putting stuff in my desk and carrying it back and forth, I tried to fit all the makeup that I was focusing on, mostly in this acrylic container right here. Off to the side here, I have some like project pan items. Um, and then over here, I have this little basket of items that I added in just to show you guys or to share with you guys things that I ended up reaching for in my collection that weren't necessarily in my shop, my stash. But the bulk of the items that I was using this last month are right here. I did go on vacation at the beginning of May. So I do have a pack with me video. If you guys are interested, I'll link that below or in the cards as well. Um, but those are the items. Those were the other items that I ended up using that weren't necessarily all part of this. So I actually ended up bringing over these three boxes, which are the only items that were in my desk. Right here we have all of the lip products that I ended up using at least once this last month. Here are the eyeliners that I used. And then here are a couple of products that I am going to be decluttering after testing them or using them this month. So I'll go over those first. First I have the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. I got this in a little limited edition pack with her like six pan mini eyeshadow palette and then another like um eye topper thing um and th this mascara just transfers so bad that i just cannot use it so i'm going to be decluttering this i also have this nyx soft matte lip cream in the shade uh, athens that's almost out um and I just don't like, like, I think this has gone bad and I don't like the way that it looks on my lips anymore. So I'm getting rid of this. This also is just way too old and I used to love this, but I've had this probably for like six or seven years and the formula has definitely changed. So I just need to declutter it. This was a MAC lip glass, I think is what they call them. I don't even know what shade this is in. It's worn off. This is so old. Okay, so from Laritzi Cosmetics, this is their Dew Pot in the shade Fine, and I really, really wanted this to work because it looked like it was going to be just a really beautiful, soft, subtle highlight um, in like a cream formula, but this just does not work for me. It just doesn't show up on my skin. It swatches really beautifully, but then it just doesn't perform on the skin. So rather than keeping it around just to collect dust, dust in my collection, I am going to get rid of this. And then finally, I just have this little mini Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipstick. And this is in, it's a limited edition shade. It's in the shade Sandal, Sandals. Um, it's a really pretty color, but with these, I just find that this formula is so creamy that it can tend to transfer, or I've just noticed transfer at least with the darker shades, so I don't reach for this for that reason, and I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, so now we will focus on everything that I ended up using this past month. We can start with primer, so this one is going in my project pan. It's the Too Faced Hangover RX. And I think what I'm going to try and do this month, you guys, is focus mostly on a lot of my project pan items. I currently have three projects going on, my 19 and 2019, my graveyard project pan, as well as my roulette project pan. And my update for my graveyard project pan will be at the end of June, as well as my 19 and 2019. So I really want to focus on some of those products. So I'm definitely keeping this in. Um, and then I also had the NYX Honey Do Me Up primer um i use this a couple of times but like i said i think i'm going to just solely focus on some of my project pan items so i am going to put this one away for a bit um i also have been working on my milk hydro primer i just have the mini i've been testing this out really really do like this primer and actually i feel like i need to have an extra one in in case i finish some of these up so i'm going to continue to keep this going and then the last primer i have is another one going in a project pan this is the coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer and i actually have another little one of these after i finish this up so if i do finish this up i will work on the other one just to get some primers out of my collection but this obviously will stay in okay then for foundations i have two foundations in my 19 and 2019 first i have the door dior forever so obviously this will stay as well as the Too faced born this way and then i also am working on the cover girl vitalist healthy elixir in the shade 720 in my 
project pan roulette so this will stay i'm also pretty close to being done with this maybelline dream bb fresh beauty balm i usually wear this to the gym it's a very light coverage foundation or bb cream um so i'm going to continue to work on this I am going to put my Laura Geller Filter First foundation away just for a little bit. I would like to finish this this year and I was working towards that goal. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that line where it's kind of settling, but I am over halfway done with this. I'm going to put this away for this month and maybe focus on it again in June. Shoot, I have one more primer hanging out over here. This was the Flower in Your Prime Illuminating Primer. I didn't use this that much, but again, I just want to focus on the few primers that I do have going so I'm gonna put this away for a while um, and then two more foundations that I had been working on I have this Rimmel lasting finish 24 hour breathable I've used this a ton over the course of the past month um, so I'm gonna put this away for a bit and then I also had this Stila sheer color tint moisturizer um, I did not use this at all and I would love to get through this uh, I can't remember this must be going in a project pan actually because it's marked so I actually will I was gonna say I'm gonna put this away for a bit but um I'm gonna keep this going okay we'll move on to powders I am working on my it cosmetics by by pores illumination it's not in a project pan um, but I have hit pan on this and I've really been enjoying just trying to work on this project so or project product so I think I'm going to keep this in and keep working on this. Okay, so then I also have my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder that I am working on in my 19 and 2019. So this will obviously stay. And then I did have a loose powder. Um, I had been using my Hourglass, Hourglass Veil Mineral powder. Um, and I got some pretty good use out of this. Sorry, my autofocus is horrible. Um, but I did get, really, there we go. I did get some good use out of this um, this past month, so I think it's time to pull in a different pressed powder to work on, so I will put this away for a while. Okay, moving on to bronzers. I swear I had so, so many bronzers this past month. Um, however, okay, so... Okay, so I was working on or testing out the new Fenty Beauty bronzer because I had just purchased this. I got a ton of use out of this, so while I would love to keep working on this, I think I'm going to put this away for a little bit. Then I have my Mira Mira Butter Bronzer going in a project pan, so I'm obviously going to keep working on this, as well as my Becca Sunlit Bronzer. This is going in a different project, so I'm going to continue to focus on that. I also pulled my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer back out, and fell back in love with this and while I want to keep working on this the point of these shop my stashes are to get some use out of some other products and I do have two other bronzers going in this so I'm gonna put this away at least for the next month okay so then for blush this was also the month of the blushes and I think for this next month because I would really like to focus on the two going in my project pan I'm only gonna have two or three blushes going but let's go through so this is the essence satin touch blush this is going in a project so this will stay as well as my hourglass mood exposure those are my two blushes currently in projects I also had my max my Mac warm soul blush pulled um, but I'm gonna put this away at least until June what else I also had maybe I had more highlights than blushes okay so I had two more blushes I had my Ciate London blush in the shade summer love which is this really pretty coral color um, I will pull this back out for the summer but I'm gonna put this away for a little bit and then I also had and then I also had Mac flower child which I did get some good use out of I will again put the pull this back out for the summertime but for the time being I'm gonna put this away moving on to highlights then i just recently pulled the mineralized skin finish highlight into my graveyard project pan so this will stay as well as the natasha denona glow this is going in a project and the fenty beauty kilowatt highlighter is the third highlight i have going in a project other than that i have just a ton of highlighters that i was working on first we have bathe by i love or in collaboration just colors in collaboration with I Love Sarah E. Love this, but I'll pull this back out in the summertime. I'm going to put this away for a bit. I also had my NARS Fort de France highlight, which is this really beautiful golden highlight. Um, I used this only like one time, but I think I'm going to put this away at least for the next month. Then I also had Becca Champagne Pop. I used this a couple times. I don't love this highlight anymore. Um, I'm going to put this away for a while. I also had ColourPop Flexitarian pulled, and I 
this is a little too intense for my cheeks um but i think i'm going to keep this in another rotation and use it as an inner corner highlight i love it as an inner corner highlight i also pulled mary lou back out and was using her a bit not as much as i would have liked to have gotten so i think i'm going to hang on to this one and keep this in for another rotation i did get quite a bit of use out of my mini becca rose quartz i love this highlight but i have been using this pretty consistently the last two rotations so i feel like i need to put this back for a little bit um but i definitely will pull this back out in the summertime i also got a ton of good use out of my zuma highlighter from persona which i have been loving and I think I actually do want to keep this in one more rotation. I love it that much. So I have quite a few champagne highlights. I need to pull a pinky one. Um, but next up, I have the Ofra highlight in the shade Star Island. I got this in an Ipsy. This is a super intense highlight, but I actually really did enjoy this. But I did get some good use out of it. And I'm going to put it away because I do have pretty much all golden and champagne highlights currently going in my shot my stash okay and these last few products okay most of this so this little bundle right here is my mascara i'm currently currently i have opened the tart or not the tart the Too faced better than sex the dior nope sorry this mark jacob one velvet noir which i've really been enjoying um this is an eyebrow pencil from MAC that I might keep going. I also have the Tarte Man Eater blush as well as the Waterproof Milk Kush bl ah, blush um, mascara. Um, and then I do still have this Kush mascara, just the regular one going. This is going to be done soon, um, but I definitely don't need to pull any mascara the two concealers that i was focused on we'll see if we can auto focus better okay so these are the two concealers that i was focused on the wet and wild one which i really really fell back in love with but i feel like i need to put put away for a little bit and then the naked skin which is going in a project pan i cannot wait for this to be done even though i feel like it's taking forever i'm just not a fan of this concealer anymore but unfortunately i'm gonna keep working on it and the wet and wild I definitely will pull back in the future. I'm going to see, see if I can get a better shade match for me. Um, I have light ivory, which I have, I have light ivory, which I have a feeling is probably the lightest. Uh, but it's like a little bit too deep for me. But I can get away with it in, like with my summer shade or with a tan. But it's too dark for me in the winter time. But I just really have fallen back in love with this concealer. Okay, so then this is my Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I'm almost done with this. It's going in a project. This is my Kopari Pinkini Lip Glossy. Love this, but this is also going on a project, plus I wouldn't take that out anyway. I am also working on the it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Concealer. Not really a fan of that. Um, and then finally, I have my Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in, in the shade Sunlight, um, which is also going in a project. Sorry, I also forgot to mention I have the Benefit Give Me Brow in the shade, I believe, 3. Yep. So that'll stay. And then the three sprays that I was working on, I have my Ofra Makeup Fixer Spray, which I love. This is going in a project. And then I have the ABH Dewy Set Spray, as well as the MAC Prep and Prime, which I'm going to put my ABH Dewy Set Spray away just because I want to grab the pixie glow mist because i want to finish this up i used to love the pixie glow mist but now that i've tried the abh dewy set i'm kind of over this one so i would like to just get this out of my collection and back here you guys i had one of my palettes that was going this is the persona identity palette and then i've also been working on the smashbox cali contour which i'm obsessed with so even though this got a ton of use i'm keeping it in another round and then just so you guys know up here's where i keep my palettes so i did have another face palette going this was the benefit blush or cheekathon palette from a couple years ago i'm missing my coralista shade um i actually really enjoyed using this and i think i'm going to keep this in one more rotation and then most of these or all of these palettes are going in my um 19 shadows in 2019 project if you guys are interested in that one i'll also leave that linked below um and then i also had pulled my uh Too faced sweet peach palette which i used like two times and actually may i'm currently working on a one palette a day for 31 days project so i'm not gonna even pull any palettes today just because i've been pulling a different palette every single day and i think i might just leave my sweet peach up here to remind me that i didn't get that much use out of it and to use it in a rotation probably in june just because again i'm rotating through so many palettes in may 
and I forgot to mention one more thing. I also had my ABH Glow Kit pulled um, in sun dipped i'm gonna put this away and we'll probably pull this back out in june okay and then the last little bit to show you before we jump into shopping my stash the eyeliners i used i used my inglot number 94 this is a champagne uh gel liner love this also was using my essence extreme lasting pencil in the shade six silky nude if you guys have not tried the essence everlasting pencil or extreme lasting pencils they're amazing i also used my milk in the shade pto which is like a purple holographic shade and then i also use this mark jacobs purple one in the shade missed me um and then i have obviously in my project pan my essence which is like a dark brown that i use almost every day and then here we have my lip products um i'll fly through these really quick i just have a sephora gloss one of the Tarte lingerie lippies and then I have my persona liquid lipstick in the shade OG I have my Fenty Stunna lip paint which I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale in the shade uncuffed I have my bite French press lip gloss in the shade flat white I have the Fenty diamond milk lip gloss I have one of the Tarte rainforest of the sea lipsticks in the shade sunkissed which I love. Pick that up during the sale. Um, I used this one quite a bit on vacation. This was the Dose of Colors um, Desi X Katie Amav Story lip, Liquid Lipstick um, and really enjoyed this. I had the NARS Lip Lacquer in Santa Domingo. Really enjoyed this one too. This was the Lancome Juicy Shaker like Lip Oil in the shade Apricot. Uh, Buxom Dolly Lip Gloss, ABH Lip Gloss in the shade Kristen, Revlon Lip Gloss in the shade 205, one of the MAC lipsticks in Give In, one of the Tarte Rainforest of the CH2O glosses in Getaway, one of the Barrett Minerals Liquid Lipsticks in Slay. And then finally, one of the YSL, I don't know what they call these, but this is in the shade 22. If you guys have a way you want me to like share what I used on my lips, let me know. Or if you just want me to keep breezing through them, I can do that too. So basically any lip product that I used that month, I end up putting in here. I also have been using the Kush uh, lip balm quite a bit. I've really been enjoying this. I picked a couple of these up during the VIB sale and I wear lip balm so so often so would highly recommend and then I also have my like little lipsticks slash lip gloss going in my uh 19 and 2019 project pan but any lip product i use i just put in this box on my desk so that i can share with you guys in these updates okay and then finally you guys i just have this little basket of things that i added in so i did decide that i wanted to work on my smashbox photo finish pore minimizing primer um this past month to try and get some use out of it and get this out of my collection i think i actually am going to pull this in i've been using this on my forehead to like try and smooth my forehead lines out a little bit so anyway to try and use this up and get this out of my collection i am four so i actually am going to keep this in rotation i also was just using my milk blur primer for the same thing just to kind of see um how i could get use out of this but i'm gonna put this away for a bit i actually got quite a bit of use out of the tatcha luminous dewy skin mist i just have the mini and i'm gonna put this in rotation and see if i can finish this up this month i think i could finish this up and get some still get some good use out of the pixie glow mist so we're gonna aim for that i did pull my milani baked bronzer a couple of times just when i was going for like a more glowy look but I recently picked up the Hourglass bronzer during the VIB sale, so I want to probably pull that one in and put this away. I used my Buxom Wonderlust. No, I used my Buxom. I used my Buxom blush in the Se Seychelles so so much, especially on vacation. It's like this beautiful bronzy blush. Um, I know I should put this away because I've gotten so much use out of it. But the other part of me is like, you know, you're gonna reach for it. I actually think I'm going to keep this in rotation and then I just want to pull one other blush, like a corally blush, and call it good. Um, two foundations I was playing with this month. I actually use this a ton. This is the Clinique Even Better Makeup Foundation and I did just pick up quite a few new foundations during the VIB sale, so I'll probably put this away. I also wanted to just get a little bit more use out of or like retest the Maybelline. There we go. I also wanted to retest the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. Got some good use out of this. Gonna put this away for a bit. Then I had my Essence All About Matte 
fixing compact powder um, I'm gonna focus on that it cosmetics powder for a while before pulling this one back in I did pull in my Becca wild honey I believe no songbird songbird blush which is again like a beautiful nude peachy coral blush um, but I'm going to put this away since I did get some use out of this and pick a different coral blush. I had also pulled my NARS uh, Laguna Bronzer. This is the diffused one, I think, the sun washed one, um, just to test this out because this had been in my collection for probably like a month or two. Um, and I hadn't really played around with it much. Really, really, really did enjoy this bronzer. But again, I did purchase a new bronzer during the VIB sale that I want to test out. So I'll put this away for a while. I also pulled this MAC Fairly Precious Extra Dimension Blush. That's what this looks like. Just because I wanted to like play around with this a little bit. And I'm excited to play with this more in the summertime when I want like more of like a glowy, glowy look. Um, I really have been enjoying this, but I think I should put this away for a month. I had also pulled my little mini Bobbi Brown highlight that I picked up. This was limited edition during the winter time. It's in the shade Pink Glow. I really do love this highlight, but I'm going to put this away for a bit. Again, I got some good use out of this this month. I had also pulled my Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Powder to play around with this some, and I had some fun with this, but I think I may actually pull the hourglass ambient light powder which is pretty similar just to get some use out of that because it's been a while since i've used that and then the last product in this little basket is the mac hyper real glow palette this highlighting palette um i do think i'm going to put this away for a little bit although it's actually no i didn't use this i only used this a couple times last month and i do love this i'm going to pull this in I'm gonna pull this in for this rotation. Okay, you guys, I don't wanna go too, too buck wild this rotation, just because, like I said, I wanna focus on a lot of my Shop My Stash videos, or a lot of my project pan items. Now, I do have some new foundations that I picked, picked up during the Sephora VAB sale, and I would love to finish off one, if not two of the foundations going on my project pan so i actually don't think i'm going to pick out foundation and i'm skipping primer as well so then we're going to go into my concealer and powder drawer and i need one loose powder and one concealer is what i am thinking for now i did pick up a new concealer so i think i'll just pick my concealer when i get to the new drawer because i don't want to have too many concealers going at one time and then for loose powder I tested this a bit ago, but haven't reached for it since. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. Um, I just have like the little mini deluxe size sample. I think I'll give this a go um, and see if I can't get this used up. I did, probably not, probably not in a month, but, um, but see how it goes. I did actually bring the Tarte Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder on vacation with me. I would choose this, but I did get some good good use out of this on vacation, so. And then I feel good about, actually, no, I said I wanted to pull my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I have mine in Luminous Light, so I'm going to pull this as well. Okay, on to my bronzer drawer. I believe, because I want to focus on my Project Pan bronzers, I believe that I'm going to hold off. I'm going to grab one bronzer from my new drawer. And if I finish my... Uh, quickie contour stick i am going to pull my fenty match stick in amber as a contouring product um but not until i finish that product so i'm not going to pull anything from here Ugh, a part of me i know i just heard my friend emily say it's not that serious like my makeup collection is literally in the next room um but it always feels so serious in these videos i think i might pull this wet and wild contouring palette just to uh it's been a while since I've used this, so we'll pull this. Okay, next up, we are into my blush drawer. And like I said, I just want to pick one more blush out for this month because I need to focus on my Project Pan blushes, and I would love to pull, like, a peachy blush. Hmm. I think I'm going to pick Becca. That's super, super neutral. Okay, I'm going to... No... I wonder where my Tarte blush that I brought, I brought a Tarte blush on vacation in the shade Concept and didn't use it, but it was pretty peachy, but I don't know where it is. Hmm. Well, geez, do I not have that many peachy blushes and need to go buy some? I actually, okay, so we'll pull this because I, okay, I'll pull this because I never reach for this. This is the ABH like blush trio in the shade 
peachy love so we'll pull that okay so then i have two highlighter drawers this is like the like more fun colored fenty beauty highlights from last year's summer collection i'm not gonna pull those i'm probably gonna pull that bobby brown highlight next rotation it's like a dark so this is like a darker bronzy shade and it's a little too dark for me unless i'm like pretty tan so i'm gonna hold off on that a part of me kind of wants to pull i think i'm gonna pull the aurora palette i'd like to pull one of my glow kits every single month just to try and get some use out of them and i really really do like lyra and eclipse i can get away with those like as neutral colors shockingly um so i'm gonna pull this one and then from my regular highlight drawer i said i wanted to pick out a pinky blush so i actually think okay so i'm either gonna pink, pick out my nude dior like my dior one which i love or the charming pink from laura geller okay those look so so similar swatched um the charming pink the laura geller one is on top it looks just like a little bit more intense i actually think i'm ugh, such a tough decision i think i'm gonna go with the laura geller one because i believe it's been longer since i've used that one so i'm gonna go with laura geller charming pink Ooh, it's been so long since i've used my amrezy highlighter too and i have those wet and wild ones Okay, I need to remember next month to reach for these guys. So we're going to put them right up front there. Okay, I'll hold off, but I'll just put these here as a subtle reminder to myself to either pull these next month or sneak in here and grab them this month. Okay, next up we have my single shadow drawer, which just never really inspires me ever. And I don't think I'm going to pull anything out of it this month. And then down here we have mascaras and brow products and my eyeliners. But again, if I use an eyeliner, I just set it aside to let you guys know. Um, and then brow products, I don't feel like I need anything. And I have so many mascaras open right now. I think we're good on this drawer. Here's my face palette drawer. I do like to choose a new face palette every month just to try and rotate through these. Um... So I actually think I'm going to pull my Koki Contour Palette because I have not used this in a little bit. And then in this drawer, I have just new skincare that I've gotten through like BoxyCharm or just skincare that I need to test out. But right now, I'm testing out some other new skincare, so I don't need to pull anything from here. And then in this last drawer, okay, this is my new drawer and this is a little intense just because of this for VIB sale. And then my BoxyCharms and stuff so i'm so excited you guys because i finally got my hands on the hollywood flawless filter um as well as the wonder glow my sister gifted these to me for my birthday so thank you hannah i'm so excited to try these so i'm gonna pull these two for sure my daughter just woke up and is reaching into the new drawer which this one. and she's telling me that i need to pull this natasha denona single which is a beautiful gold shade this is actually really pretty so i definitely will pull this Thanks for the recommendation, Zoe. Um, I definitely want to test out my new Dose of Colors lip gloss. This is in the shade on repeat. And then I said I was going to grab a concealer from here. This is the Laura Mercier um, Flawless Fusion Concealer. So I'm going to pull this. As far as like palettes are concerned, so I have my Smoke Sessions palette, which I really want to test out, as well as this Pure Festival palette I got in BoxyCharm. But I usually just leave these in here until i pull for them just to like remind myself to use them i also just got this alamar blush trio in my boxy charm um but i think i'll hold off one month to work with that here's my hourglass bronzer that i want to work on and other than that like i said so i have the peach perfect foundation i have the new dior for forever skin glow and then i have the ysl Tushy Clot All-in-One Glow, which I will test out over the course of the next month, but I'm not going to like seriously focus on them just because I really want to do one last push, especially for my 19 and 2019 because it'll be the halfway mark. 
So I really wanna push to possibly finish up those foundations and then these are ones I can focus on in June. So I think we are gonna call it good and now let's go take a look at the products I'll be looking or working on this month. Okay, and then really quick you guys, just wanted to show you this. This is where I keep my lip stuff. So up top first drawer is like all my lip glosses. In the second drawer I have a lot of like the liquid lipsticks I own doubles in, so a lot of ColourPop. Um, I have like some Jeffree Star ones, some Too Faced, Huda, L'Oreal. Um, over here, I keep like all my dose of colors, which are my favorite. I have my Fenty glosses, some NARS oh, liquid lips. And then jumping back here, I have a third jar of liquid lipsticks. <laughs> this is stuff that like, I think I want to declutter. Um, and then in this drawer, I have more liquid lipsticks and some lip liners. And then bottom drawer is just like my lashes, which I don't have many lashes. <laughs> which I don't have a lot because I don't really wear lashes. But if you guys want me to choose my lip products from month to month, let me know. But the thing that works easiest for me is just as I wear lip products to toss them in that box and then share with you at like the beginning of my shop my stash what I wore for the previous month. All right, you guys, but here we have it. Here are all of the products I'm going to be focusing on this month. I am really excited about this month. Overall, I feel like the majority of products are just products I'm working on my project pans. Um... I hope I just said that right. Most of the products I chose for this month are products I'm working on for my project pan. Oh, such a tongue twister. So I'm really excited to see the progress in those products over the course of the next month. And then hopefully in June, I'll be feeling good about my projects. So I'll be able to have more fun with some of my selections. But that is it for today's video. I will catch you guys in my next one.